Uh, let me show you what's going on. Yeah, it was for Saturday night. Miles, it seemed. Mm -hmm. It was just no red lights there, packed. All right, so what we're looking at tonight, a very quiet night around our area. Temperature sitting into the 60s. Beautiful. 56 degrees Allentown, 58 right now around Doylestown. You got 64 in Philadelphia. Good one to have the windows open, letting the cool air in, assuming you don't suffer from allergies because pollen counts are fairly high. Tomorrow morning, out the door, sun comes up at 545. If you're an early riser, I'm sure you're really noticing. I mean, you start seeing that light in the western sky or eastern sky, 5 o'clock. It's starting to get light out there. 57 degrees at 6 o'clock, none of it sunshine at that time. Mostly sunny at 8, 70 degrees by 10. A few clouds starting to increase. So let's start your future cast there at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And again, looking like a good map by noon. Great day to eat some lunch outside. Clouds will continue to increase. And what we're tracking is a weather maker that's going to stay mainly to our south. For your drive home, yeah, maybe a blip, a light sprinkle or two, but notice that this map does not have anything on it other than the cloud cover. Far southern zones, Cape May, over to Dover, potentially tomorrow night getting a wave of some showers rolling through. That's about the extent of it. But the front will cross on Wednesday, and our biggest impact around the region is going to be the temperatures. So three things for you. Warmer but more clouds tomorrow than we had out there today. We're looking at those late showers tomorrow evening, mainly south of Philadelphia, mainly south of our area, I should say. And then we're back to the 60s for high temperatures on Wednesday. That will be the biggest impact and a little bit of a breeze as well. But we are tracking rain with the potential for storms on Saturday. Again, on a weekend. It's crazy this year, right? I mean, I think we've had six dry weekends total out of the 18 or 19 that we've had. It's just ridiculous. So, Wednesday, 68 degrees. There it is. We'll go 70 on Thursday. Friday's beautiful at 73. Let's talk about Saturday. We've dropped the temperature to 70 degrees. We are tracking this weather maker that's going to move in from the south. So, by Saturday morning, we should be dry. We're going to watch this all week long, but notice everything starts to increase. All the green is the rain, the darker green is the heavier rain. Here's a look at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. And right now, it looks like a fair amount of rain, or at least the potential widespread for showers and the occasional thunderstorm. And that goes right into Saturday evening. If you have plans on Saturday, start thinking about a backup. And of course, we will walk you through that and continue to update you through the week. Sunday, trending dry with a very nice forecast of 75 degrees. I mean, how nice was yesterday? Boy, that was a gorgeous day. 75 on Monday. So one of these weekends, or maybe, maybe a string of weekends would be nice where we don't have to talk about rain, but that just doesn't mm. seem to be in the cards at this point. Oh, man. Thank you, buddy.